Welcome to the Militia Gaming Community, I'm Trigger, and this is my guide for this week's The Brits Summit in The Crew 2. Let's go! I'm giving away an Xbox Series X to one of my subs this holiday season. Click the giveaway video link in the description or in the top right of this video now to watch the video and enter the giveaway. Just being a sub will not automatically put you in the giveaway, you must officially enter. So go watch that video, enter, and then come back to this one. Good luck! The purpose of these guides is to help you get platinum status in each of the summits every single week. The goal is not to have you place first in the world, and nor do I represent a top 10 player. However, my strategies and pro settings are for the average player to gain platinum status. This is going to help you get better at the game, that's the whole point of these guides. So please let me know in the comments if this guide has helped you in some way, and give me some specifics in what particular event were you struggling with, and let me know how you did better using my guides. Now if the guides are not helping you, please let me know what I could be doing better. All right, let's get into the first event, the Golden Hills Desert Slalom. The key to this is definitely finishing before the time runs out and not missing any pylons. That being said, to score the most points, you will also need the score breaker set bonus. This will multiply your points gained by two. This will essentially lead to over 100,000 points in the summit, provided you finish within the time limit and you don't miss any of the pylons. The score breaker set bonus is something that needs to be active on all parts for your car. This week I'm choosing to use the Aston Martin in the spirit of the Brits Summit, even though there is no vehicle restriction. Unfortunately, the only class that I have a full set of score breaker parts is Street Race, so that's what I'm using, and I recommend doing that. If you only have a set of score breaker parts on one particular class of vehicle, definitely use that vehicle. It means double the points in this event. My Aston Martin Pro settings look like this. All right, moving on to the Dallas Dam Speed Trap. I went with the Corvette Stingray drag car. I started on the opposite side of the speed trap. I found it easier to gain speed before hitting the corner and then opening up the throttle once I hit the straight. I was able to get a top 200 rank out of 16,000 players with a drag car that isn't even fully leveled. This should be fairly easy to hit 100,000 points this week, so long as you have a decent drag car. Here are my pro settings for the Corvette Stingray. Alright, moving on to the Los Angeles Aerobatics event. Again, no vehicle restriction, so I'm going to go with a plane that I already have. Aerobatics is definitely where I struggle the most. I'll show you how I ran this particular skill, but to be really honest, I need more practice in planes to be able to advise you properly. I think this score will be good enough because my other scores in the other events in this summit will be well over 100,000 points. That being said, I haven't touched my pro settings yet and my plane isn't fully upgraded. My best score was this and I'm hoping that will be enough to get me into Platinum. Next up, the Road to New Orleans hypercar race using the Jaguar CX-75. Now there are a ton of shortcuts in this race, I'm going to go through them real quickly for you. Feel free to rewind the video and watch as many times as you need to. At 15% you're going to cut through the grass and the trees. At 19% you're going to cut that corner. And directly after that, at 20%, you're going to cut left at the checkpoint, go directly towards the next checkpoint, and make sure you go around to the left of the guardrail that's on the other side. Then at 73%, you're going to want to cut the corner through the swamp, 
and again at 78% you're going to cut the corner left through the grass. And that's about all the cuts that I could find in this race and here are the pro settings I'm using for the Jag CX-75. All right, moving on to the street race called To the Big Cow using a TVR car. I went with the Griffith, but choose whichever one you prefer. There are a bunch of cuts in this race as well. At 28%, you're gonna veer left and jump through the checkpoint after going down that embankment. Keep in mind that when you hit the embankment, it's gonna shove your car to the left. So plan for that be towards the right side of that checkpoint and it'll jump you through it in the middle or to the left of it. At 54%, you're gonna veer right and jump the hill directly after the checkpoint. And then when you land, you'll jump the hill on the next side going through that next checkpoint. It's a back-to-back -back cut and it's pretty straightforward. Once you jump it once, you'll understand where to go. Just keep in mind, you don't wanna hit the tree that's on the right side on the second jump. And then at 69%, you're gonna veer left just a little bit and then cut back right at the checkpoint, jump over that hill and point your car in the direction of the next checkpoint. And you're gonna wanna hit that hill sort of towards the, the point of it, the top of that hill. There are a lot of trees towards the left side of this, so cutting too far to the right is better than not cutting far enough on this particular cut. And then finally at 86%, you're gonna go just to the right of the road sign and then cut left at the checkpoint and then go straight through the bushes and the grass towards the next checkpoint. And that's about all the cuts for this race. My TBR Griffith Pro settings look like this. All right, moving on to the Jersey Everyzon track with a UK touring car. There really aren't any shortcuts for this race as it takes place on a track, but I will say that most likely your car will not need to be maxed out to 320 to get 100,000 points. I'm using a 12C GT3 for this race because I was already gonna be using it in another race, and I'll just adjust my pro settings for each race. Now the pro settings for this 12C GT3 look like this. Next up is the Ski Jump Valley Rallycross Race. For this crossover event, you must use the 12C GT3 Touring Car, which means I can't show you any of my practice runs because the game won't let you start it with that car. It's a rallycross race and that car is a touring car. That being said, this event is pretty straightforward and will be based on your skill. The faster your time, the better your score. And something I would recommend is to take this U-turn on the rail itself with full NOS throughout the entire turn. It helped me set my personal best and I ranked in the top 100 for Xbox without even having a fully upgraded Rallycross car. All right, moving on to the Dallas Squad X event with the Lotus. In this event, there is one cut that you need to take. It takes out a ton of time and can put you ahead of the pack pretty fast. Right after this U-turn, you'll have a slight right and then the cut is on the right. I usually take it in third gear and shift to fourth when exiting. This is a pretty solid course for the Lotus, but here are the settings I'm currently using. And lastly, the downtown LA East street race using an Aston Martin. Again, I'm gonna use the same Aston Martin that I used in the very first slalom event. There are a few shortcuts that I would recommend. At 10%, you're gonna cut right through this alley. And then at 29%, you're gonna take this jump. Now after you take this jump, you're gonna go straight down the street and go wide. It's gonna ask you to turn through the barriers and go off the street, but it makes way more sense to go wide around the building and then straight across the grass and then complete the turn at the next checkpoint, just like I did there. And then just repeat those cuts on lap number two, and that should be good enough. The Aston Martin Pro settings again look like this. All right guys, that's it for this summit guide. I appreciate anyone who's made it through the whole guide. 
and shout out to all the militia subs you guys are literally the best we cracked 31,000 subs this week so thank you so much for hanging around and watching all of my content as always my dms are open if you have any questions hit me up on instagram twitter or discord and speaking of discord dave loves games and i have come together to create a Discord server for the entire community to come together and talk about everything racing and Call of Duty. If you have any interest in that, make sure you hit the Discord link in the description down below and come say hello to us. All right, thank you so much again for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Trigger out. <laughs>